Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to stay a while by clicking that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. Today's video is very quick and easy. I'm gonna show you guys how I made this DIY. So if you wanna see it, go ahead and keep on watching. But before we get into the video, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Scentbird. If you're not familiar with Scentbird, it is a monthly subscription service where you can sample over 600 brands of fragrances, perfumes, cosmetics, even skincare and wellness. They have a beautiful website, super easy to navigate, tells you exactly how it works when you go right on the website. It lets you choose a new designer fragrance every month for either men or women, and you just do that for just $15. You get a full 30-day supply with each order so you can switch things up however often you would like. It's not a simple size bottle, it is an actual 120 to 140 spray bottle. And you can upgrade to receive 2-3 to three products a month. And they partner with the best brands you guys, like all the brands that you know, all the popular brands, Gucci, Prada, all of them. And this month, this is what I received. They actually sent me this um, facial scrub, the Anthony's facial, facial scrub, and I was so excited to try it. It is so soothing, smells really good, and it left my skin feeling really fresh. I also tried this Burberry for men. I got this for my husband because every time I get scent bird, I always get something for me, and this time I decided to try the men's line, and it just smelled amazing. He absolutely loves this. And it comes in this little case, it, it looks like a lipstick, you just twist it open and it's really easy to release the vial, you just pull it right out. And as you can see, it is the Burberry Brit for Men. And to put it back, you just slip it right in and then you can twist it to um, put the vial back into its case. It smelled so good when I sprayed it on myself, I couldn't wait for him to try it. The next fragrance that I got is this one right here. And it's called Get A Room. And it smelled amazing as well. So make sure you check the description box. I will have a link below with a code for you guys where you get 30% off your first order. So it's gonna be just $10. And now let's get right into this DIY. So I'm starting off with these old um, canvases for pictures that just don't go with the theme of my house anymore. My colors are more like grays and beiges and this is very yellow. So I went ahead and used some paint. This is a paint and primer by Bear. And I just covered the entire canvas with white. I think this is a great way to repurpose any canvases that you have in your home that you just don't like the pictures anymore and you want to update them. This is an absolute great way to repurpose. So I moved them to my kitchen. I'm using it on my kitchen island right now. I'm using these two acrylic paints. So I'm going to be doing a Z Gallery, one of those home goods inspired type arts. I'm sure you've seen it here on YouTube before. I'm starting off with a darker um, combination of the black and white. These are the only colors I'm going to be using. And then I'm doing this zigzag sort of design and just kind of playing around with the shape a little bit until I'm happy with it. And as I expand out, all I'm doing is just adding more white so that I can have a gradual or gradient effect where I'm going from dark gray to lighter gray to lighter gray to light. So the only thing I wish I had done in this is kept the shape um, more of like a square because like this one is kind of like an oval shape. Um, I wish I had done that. But the next step is to basically get some Mod Podge after your paint is dry. And you just start working in your section. So I started with the darker section first and I wanted the middle to be more um, intense, I guess. So I'm gonna put some Mod Podge there. Make sure you very put a very thick layer of the Mod Podge. And I'm going to use my jumbo glitter. It's a very coarse glitter. And just sprinkle it all over. Once I was happy with the density of the glitter, 
I went ahead and continued with the Mod Podge application and so I started to add it at the bottom and I just made sure I added it where the paint was and not so much where the white area was of the canvas. Then I went in with my fine glitter because I only had two um, types of glitter and I started to sprinkle that all over the top and bottom. And I had a little bit go into the middle just to make it more dense and this is what it looks like. Towards the end I decided to add a little bit of sprinkling of the fine glitter on the white area to keep it more sparkly and this is the final result. I am so happy with this. Um, I am going to be putting them in my built-ins and that's where I have them right now but I'm going to show you the trio as well and I think that it goes really nicely together. So whether you have them separately or you want to put them all together with the trio, I think both of them work. I'm really happy with this and I hope you guys were too. Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out Scentbird and check out the link so you get your 30% off today. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. God bless and bye-bye.